Defense.com makes it easy for you to detect threats and stop cyber attacks. Let's take a look at five things you can do with Defense.com to start improving your security posture. Now, once you've signed up and you're onboarded, your dashboard is going to look a little something like this. So first up, you can see what your business looks like through the eyes of a hacker. So let's head to prevention and then we're going to click on recon. Okay, so what we can do here is we can add our business domain name and we can hit start recon and defense.com is going to give you a report that shows you all areas of your external attack surface that could become potential threats. Now, I'm going to check out a report here that we've, we've done earlier. And there's a lot to look at here, but if we dive into just a couple of the examples and highlight any immediate risks to your business. So firstly, under related targets here, so we can check out our subdomains and this is going to show you if you've got any subdomains that are publicly available on the internet. And it's a good idea really to check to see if you've accidentally left anything exposed, especially if it's sensitive information or any business critical services that shouldn't be made public. And we can see a list of those that we've got here. And next up, let's take a look down this report. We can see we've got open services. So in a similar way, you can see with this if you've accidentally left any ports open to the internet. And this is essentially another entry point for an attacker. If they're looking at your domain, they could see this as a weak point for access. And there shouldn't really be anything here if you set up the right firewall rules, but it's important to check it regularly for misconfigurations and anything suspicious. So I can drill into this and I can take a look at all of the, the ports that we have uh, identified with the recon scan. Now, there's a lot of other interesting things in here like the historical breach monitoring, but for now this should get you started uh, with your recon report. Now everything in this report is going to be organized and prioritized into your threat list. So I can get to that by clicking on the left here and clicking on threat list. Now this is probably where you're going to spend most of your time. It's essentially your to-do list of all security threats affecting your business. And there's many different options here. We can filter by the recon threats if we wanted to that we saw earlier. We can also filter by the risk score or the ones that are incomplete or complete. So everything is all prioritized in order of criticality and each threat is going to have plenty of detail about the issue. So for example, um, if I click on this one here for endpoint protection, detected malware on our network, that's obviously uh, not good. Uh, it's going to give us a brief description about what was detected in this threat and what we need to do about it to remediate it. So we have our description of the threats, we have our remediations tab here, and this is, we can see there's eight steps here for remediation for this particular threat. And each of these steps, we can assign them to different users, and we can also update the status uh, depending on if we've remediated them or not. So we've got a couple of different things here. I've assigned monitoring for unusual activity to a, one of the users. I'm looking down here, I've quarantined one of the endpoints that's been assigned to another user, and I can update these down the bottom if I wanted to um, assign them to a different user. And as an example, I'm going to remediate one at the top here, educate our end users, always a good thing to do. And I'm going to mark that as remediated. So I'm going to click apply. And that's going to show up here as remediated. So for each threat, we would go through, remediate all of the steps um, to make sure that we are fixing issues before they get exploited. Secondly, we're going to take a look at integrating your Microsoft 365 account. Now, this is a really easy setup. Um, once you followed a quick few steps, your dashboard is going to look something like this. So this gives you a quick overview of the things that you need to do to secure your company's Microsoft 365 tenant and detect any threats related to your account or your users. So everything you do in defense.com is automatically going to sync with Microsoft and vice versa. So that really saves you time rather than having to go through a lot of dashboards on the Microsoft side for each threat you remediate in defense.com. It's all here for you to easily manage in one place. So one of the main things you can do here is see your Microsoft Secure Score and track it over time. So we're going to bring in all of the top improvement actions here that you can do to improve your security and it will show you a score percentage of how much your Secure Score is going to increase once you've done 
that particular action. Now there's a few things that you can do on here, but the main one is it's going to bring in the threats that have been identified from Microsoft 365. So I'm gonna click the button here on the right, and that's gonna take us back to our threat list. So again, this is where you can easily manage all of the threats that have been identified. And if I remediate an issue here for Microsoft 365, that's going to automatically sync with your Microsoft account. So Microsoft is just one of the many platforms that we integrate with. We do lots of other ones. Basically, if it generates a security alert, we can bring that into defense.com and we can show you all of your threats in a single platform. So number three is vulnerability scanning. Now with defense.com, you can do both external and internal scanning. It's really easy to set it up. We're going to go to prevention again and vulnerability scanning here. Now there's a button up here on the top right where you can add a group of IPs that you would like to scan, but for the purpose of this, we're going to show you one that's already in action. So I'm going to click on our demo scan here. And this is one of the scan groups we've made earlier. Now this is done on a monthly basis uh, for a schedule. It's just running automatically. Now this is going to show all of the vulnerabilities uh, that have been found from that scan. So I can click up here to view scans and all of the information that is found within this scan, you guessed it, it's going to go back into your threat list to all see in one place. And if you want to, you can download a PDF report of the scan results if that makes it easier for you. But all of the threats that have been identified in your vulnerability scans are going to come back into your threat list with step-by-step -step remediations on how you can fix them. So in addition to the detection and response tools, you can also use defense.com as a tool to train your staff. And that brings us to our fourth point, which is education. So if we click that on the left here, and we've got a couple of different options. So we're going to click on training topics first. Now here you can find a collection of fun and engaging videos to help educate your staff about different security related topics. And what that really does is help you turn them into a first strong line of defense. Now there's a few different topics here and at the end of each series of videos as an exam, which you can basically use to help your users validate their knowledge. And if your users don't complete their training or they fail their exams, again, that's gonna appear in your threat list and you can then follow up and remind them to complete that training or take it again. So, and finally, number five, in addition to training, you can also test your users with our built-in phishing simulator to identify any potential gaps in training that may need to be addressed. Now, we can add a new campaign if we'd like to up here with the button on the top right. You can choose who you want to target, when you want to send it, so it's completely flexible for how you'd like to use it. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna take a look at some of the campaigns we've done in the past. So here, for each campaign, we can click here on the view campaign button and that's going to give you a timeline of what happened. So if anyone does fall for the fake fish and submits any information, that's going to show up here, but it's also going to show up in your threat list. So again, you can follow up with that particular user if you need to give them additional training. So all features in defense.com link back to the threat list. So this really is your central place to manage all security threats that are affecting your business. Now, rather than going from multiple products from different vendors, everything again is brought into one place so you can detect and respond to threats faster and reduce security complexity. Now, as many other features in defense.com, such as endpoint protection to help you secure the end user devices in your business. There is also SIM, uh, which allows you to monitor log data and detect suspicious activity uh, across your whole environment. Um, if you've got a small team and you need help managing your security, then we do also have a 24 seven managed SIM service, and that's going to take all of the work off of your plate. Now, everything we've covered in this video should help you get the basics right with defense.com and hopefully make your cybersecurity easier to manage.